friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution uh, today in this video i will explain you hard communication so you can see here uh, we have uh, siemens uh, ta300 temperature controller and uh, we have connected rtd 3 wire rtd uh, with this uh, temperature controller and uh, here we have positive and negative uh, supply and uh, from this positive and negative terminals uh, we will get uh, 4 to 20 milliampere uh, current and uh, from, from this heart uh, we will use this 4 to 20 milliampere current and you can see here we have connected this uh, 250 ohm resistor so because this resistor will convert uh, this voltage peak up to uh, 1 to 5 uh, volt and uh, using this FSK method this heart protocol will work and we will get uh, the signal into controller so right now we will uh, parameterize this TS300 temperature control device so you can see we have connected this RTD this will be temp uh, temperature sensing element and we have so you can see here we have uh, this hard modem and uh, with this hard modem we will connect uh, TS300 temperature controller uh, with these two terminal and uh, in second end we have this USB port that we will connect with this uh, PC and uh, from this PC we will uh, do parameterization through Siemens uh, PDM software so let's start uh, this parameterization for this temperature controller so now as per the uh, specification uh, we will connect this hard modem across 250 ohm resistors uh, that is connected with uh, negative uh, terminals with the supply and here we have this uh, RTD that is connected with uh, TA300 and uh, this hard modem is connected with this USB cable you can see and now we will uh, do so now we will see the connection uh, with this temperature controller so you can see here this one number indicating the fixing screw with the rack here one and two number terminals will be connected with the actual auxiliary power supply and from this uh, terminals will get 4 to 20 milliampere current loop so that will be our uh, signal uh, with this 3 4 5 and 6 number uh, we will connect the sensor so that will be rtd or thermocouple based on applications uh, we can connect a two wire three wire or four wire uh, this uh, temperature sensor then next we will see uh, the hard modem connection with this temperature controller so this positive and negative terminal will be connected uh, with this uh, power supply and from there uh, we will get usb cable that will connect with the pc in our case we have uh, connected uh, register so we will connect this positive and negative terminal uh, with across this register so that will get uh, 1 to 5 voltage uh, peak voltage and uh, that peak voltage will be used as a uh, hard signal if we have RS232 modem so we will connect a positive and negative terminal with the power supply and uh, finally this RS232 port will be connected with the PC this is the block diagram of the controller so this uh, PT100 temperature sensor RTD or thermocouple connected with the controller and from there uh, by multiplexing we will get a signal in analog form and uh, we will connect analog to digital that will be uh, given to microcontroller and uh, finally uh, this microcontroller will give signal into digital and here uh, we will get 4 to 20 milliampere loop uh, by this uh, voltage to current converter and that uh, signals will be used as a hard signal next here we have shown uh, this temperature sensor connection so if uh, temperature sensor is 2 wire so we will connect with 3 number and 6 number terminal if we have 3 wire uh, input so that will be connected with 3 4 and 6 number terminal 4 uh, wire input will be connected with 3 4 5 and 6 number uh, terminal and uh, this is the connection for the power supply now uh, we will configure this t uh, temperature controller uh, with hard modem in the semantic manager so i will open this semantic manager software and i will open new project here i will give name th300 hard and i will open this project 
then I will right now in component view and uh, now we'll switch into project view as a network view and here I will add the network and I will open this network once again I will configure communication network and here uh, we will add hard modem network so before we add this network uh, we must know about communication port that is connected with the PC so from this uh, device manager we will open this port and uh, from there uh, the hard modem connected with the PC that COM port number will uh, get uh, from this device manager so this uh, COM port number must be uh, same with our communication network so right now I will assign device type and uh, from there I will select hard modem network here we will get the PC name and from the PC uh, we will get this COM port interface I will open this COM port interface and from the communication option uh, here we will select this COM port so right now uh, we have connected the hard modem with COM port number 5 so I will assign the same COM port number uh, with this interface and I will press ok so we will set this COM port interface same as the hard modem now uh, in the hard modem network we will track this device so for that we will switch to uh, semantic PDM and uh, start life list so this life list is, uh, will track the whole network uh, with the hard modem and uh, the device connected with hard that will be uh, shown here here we will get address manufacturer device type and the device ID hardware software version so that detail we will get from this uh, life list and based on detail uh, we will select the object so after uh, tracking this hard network uh, we can find this device type Citrans uh, TS300 temperature controller and we will get address as well the software version installation that so that detail we will get from this life list now I will close this window and uh, I will add uh, object and here I will uh, add the same address as per the life list so we are getting the zero address so we will keep as it is and uh, I will go for assign device type and here we will select device identification so this option will track and uh, as per the uh, hardware it will select TA300 and I will press ok so here we have added uh, this TA300 temperature controller and now I will open this object so this object will open in uh, Siemens Semantic PDM process uh, device manager and this process device manager will give us uh, the parameterization option so here we will get identification setup then maintenance diagnosis communication and characteristics so here uh, we will rectify this error and then we will uh, upload the data from this hard uh, modem so by this upload option uh, whatever uh, parameter uh, we have uh, added with this temperature controller that will be added in this PC and after uh, changing this uh, ops, uh, parameter we can download uh, this parameterization into uh, TA300 temperature controller so you can see here uh, we have the option identification so here we will get the manufactured product name order number from the setup uh, we will get the sensor data so here we have connected uh, resistance uh, thermometer the type PT100 uh, and the number of sensor sensor connection then connection method so this measuring limit is uh, minus 200 degrees celsius to uh, 850 degrees celsius 
down side we are getting current output scaling so this uh, lower limit is 3.80 milliampere and control range is 20.50 milliampere the fold current will be 22.80 milliampere so after setting this uh, parameter we will download this parameter region into uh, controller so i will click on this option and uh, we will load change the parameters into controller so you can see here the parameter is loading into this controller and we'll now close this window so we have successfully added uh, the parameterization with this uh, hard modem and now I will open the process variable and from the process variable uh, we will get the detailed information about analog input so you can see here uh, this measured value uh, range in uh, percentage analog output in milliampere and the sensor data uh, we can see here so right now uh, we are getting the temperature 23.76 uh, degrees celsius and uh, we will get this analog output also so right now uh, we have 7.41 milliampere current now i am go going to increase uh, this temperature by giving heat uh, to this sensor so you can see now uh, this analog output in milliampere uh, will be increased so now i will increase uh, the temperature with this sensor and uh, you can see here uh, in analog output milliampere this current will increase and uh, temperature also uh, increase that we can see in this process variable so you can see this temperature increased uh, up to 31 degree celsius and now it's uh, decreasing and based on that uh, we will get analog output here we will get the trend view here we will get operating hours and here we will get maximum or minimum pointer value so these are the data we will get through hard modem and uh, we can make parameterization and or communication uh, from the controller to PC so thank you very much for watching our video please subscribe our channel and if you have any query you can ask me question I will definitely give our best answer mm -hmm.